This is a video tutorial of how to use the Chatterpix app in your lessons. It's a really nice and simple app and my students love using it. So open up the app and you'll get to this page and choose whether you want to take your own photo or choose one from your gallery if you've had an image saved from earlier. So I've just gone to photo and I'm going to take a picture of this character and then all you have to do is you press where the mouth is and swipe across and it really is as simple as that to create a mouth. Afterwards hit the record and it gives you 30 seconds um, to record your own um, character description or whatever you might be doing. I mean there's loads of um, ideas um, that I have for this. So this would be the students um, talking about the detective saying what he's like, um, what he's wearing, anything like that. Um, you don't have to do the full 30 seconds if you don't want to as well, you can do a shorter one. After you've done that, um, you can preview um, what you've recorded. So the students can review, you can re-record if you want, um, or if you're happy with it, um, you um, can press next. When you go to next, there's some nice effects that you can put on, um, change the colours, um, all sorts. So I quite like that one, an old effect. There's stickers um, that the students can add. Uh, you can add a frame as well. So there's... It's worth guiding your students um, to pick an appropriate one. So you would probably want the castle, the leaves there. Um, when you're happy with the frame you've got, I'm just going to go for this simple black one. Um, you can also add some text, um, which is quite nice as well. So I'm just going to put the name of the detective um, up here. You can choose different colours. Uh, when you're happy with that, just tick. And then you can move it around wherever you want. You can add some more if you want as well. Then when it's complete, um, you can press play to review it once again, the children can show each other, and then you just click the bottom right icon and it will export it to your camera roll, um, and then it will be saved as a video, and then the students can share it um, on Google Classroom or ho however you share things in the school. Maybe they can even upload it to YouTube. Thank you for watching.